So Patrick, as I see you kind of uh, with your, I don't know, you're revamping it. What are you calling it? 2.0 or the new Anarchist or what are you, what are you calling it? Or the same thing? How, how how's that going? 2.0 is more of a 2.0 of Patrick, which is really a 1.0 of Patrick. This is very confusing. Yeah, so it, it's it's just meant to signify a fresh start because uh, what I was trying to do before was not working for anybody involved, myself, the channel, the audience. Um, I wasn't wasn't being myself, and so uh, nothing was getting done, and the things that were getting done was not getting done well. So uh, time to start over and to uh, to be me. Okay, and it seemed like part of the show, like I was looking back on Anarchast years and years ago, and, you know, like Jeff was interviewing Wendy McElroy and like some OGs and, and like there was nothing about it that was like it was an anarcho-capitalist kind of thing. And then I saw there was also a bunch of content since Anarchapoco started um, that was interviewing the probably the paid guests who are coming there. And then there's also some other little bits and pieces of stuff from now forward. Are you still doing all the interviews for Anarchat or for uh, Anarchapoco on Anarchast or is that a separate thing? How does that all work? I was not approached uh, this past year to do any interviews for Anarchapoco. I uh, was not invited to speak there this year. So um, there's nothing going on in that regard. So what is the, uh, I don't know, the thrust or the direction or the rules of your new channel? I mean, it almost seems like it's the thing I invented, the reels, R-E-E-L-S, reason, uh, empirical evidence, logic, scientific methodology, like you're doing that whole in street, street imperialism or what's it called? Uh, street epistemology. epistemology. Yeah, it seems yeah. like you're doing that kind of thing. Is that the thrust or what's the channel looking like these days? The thrust is to do what I've always done on Disenthrall, which is to think critically, um, skeptically uh, about the world in general and everything in it. And so I was I put I tried to push some of that to the side on Anarchast in the beginning and like I said, it just didn't work out too well. And so I'm just going to stop trying to not be who I am, which is a uh, rational skeptical person that values standards of reason and evidence and uh we're, we're just gonna have a good time questioning the world with boldness uh, so that's the new direction the new direction is the same old direction uh, that i you know used for years on a different channel okay because it did it seems to me because i, I love disenthrall also i mean that's kind of the main channel i like the most but i would notice that when you were doing some interviews like before anarchapoco and people were saying some stuff that was kind of out there and you're like being really nice to them. And you, like, if they'd been on disenthrall, you just said, Whoa, 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 you're being nuts. So bananas. Um, give me some proof. Give me some evidence. Where's the re and you're just being some sweetie pie, which ain't you. Um, and so I, I love that you're bringing in your, no, wait, Shepard, that wasn't a good, does that really the word you meant to use? And like having these standards of let's get deep here and, and let's have a friendly fun back and forth. I, I love that. That's actually a deep topic that you bring up. So shut me up if I talk too long, but it's a spectrum. <laughs> so there are people out there that believe very out there things and you will not get to talk to them. If you have a ref, if you have a reputation for challenging beliefs and to, and for being skeptics, skeptical, they don't, you are outside of those circles entirely, uh, on purpose from them. And, um, much like a lot of other beliefs um like a lot of people won't like the left won't talk to people that challenge their beliefs and uh, people don't want skepticism generally um so there's a spectrum on one side you have the skeptic which is rational challenges things standards for reason and evidence on the other side of the spectrum you have somebody that just goes along to get along that interviews people not to get to the bottom of anything or to challenge beliefs or to find if what they're saying is true, you're just platforming them. You're, you've built a stage and your job is to ask them rather easy questions so that they can tell you what they think, whether or not it makes any sense whatsoever. And um, I tried that for the first time in my life on the old, uh, when I first started with Anarchast and I was interviewing guests for Monarcha Poco. Um, it's one of the worst times of my life. Like, that is not who I am. Uh, I, it's not, I, it feels like a waste of my time or it feels like I'm actually doing the world a disservice by giving um, unjustified or undemonstrated ideas space to breathe, um, absent challenge. <clears throat> mm. 
but everyone in those circles will talk to you if that's who you are and so where do you want to exist on that spectrum i want to have conversations with people that disagree with me or that i disagree with uh but most of the people that i disagree with that disagree with me don't want to be challenged and that's and i i'm being controversial when i say this but that's a lot of those people um a lot of the alternative medicine types the viruses aren't real types um if you're going to be a copacetic podcast host they'll they'll love the attention and the reach that you give them and the platform that you extend to them um but if you give them even a little bit of a hard time, you will never see them again. And you will get a reputation almost instantaneously because those people talk to each other and you will lose access to all of those people that disagree. Okay. So for, for the people- I, 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 I don't really know. I mean, I'm trying to think of the conclusion for that. The conclusion is um, I, I'm not willing to lower my standards anymore. So if, if they don't want to be challenged, then they can live in a space where they go unchallenged. Okay, that makes sense. And, and you know, I'm, I'm guessing it will go the other way as well. I'm, I'm hoping, like, my hope is that there's a certain reputation that if you're having on conspiracy conjectures primarily, then a serious, per, you know, like, is to Lib Nicholas, uh, whatever his name is, the anti-fragile uh, author guy, he's not going to come on a show that has a bunch of conspiracy theorists on it mm. or conspiracy conjecturists. And so that's probably going to be a, a kind of something good in the long run. It might take a year or two to have the reputation change. Not that it's better or worse. It's just a different area of interest to go more toward the academic reason based thing. That's true. Um, people on the side of reason and evidence find it demeaning to appear on platforms that will, uh, just say anything um and but, but i also find that the that that side of the spectrum is more up is more worried about appearing on a channel associated with anarchism because they see that as <laughs> equally they see anarchism as equally ex, extreme as uh, viruses aren't real like right that's just quackery to, <clears throat> to to those people so yeah there's challenges all around to having good conversations Yep. I hear you. Well, I'm excited about your new direction and, uh, or the new direction of the channel, your same direction, new direction of the channel. And, uh, I am going to continue claiming that it's my reels system that, uh, you are with great. I, I love that you're using either that or something really similar to it. So good luck to you as you go forward. Or I guess you're on stage. So break a leg as you go forward. And, uh, thanks for all you do, man. Thank you.